Hello fellow pen lovers and stationery enthusiasts, it's Christy here, Snarky Wordsworth over on Instagram and Reddit, and if you couldn't guess, uh, I have another new pen unboxing for you today. I'm super duper excited about this one. Uh, this is actually the very first big purchase of 2023, and it's also kind of my first foray into sort of custom pens, and I'll explain a little bit about that in just a moment. This pen is from a company that's pretty much in my backyard, the Edison Pen Company uh, out of Ohio. And when I first saw this pen go up in July, it was a limited edition and it's in this absolutely beautiful colorway. And I just, I kept putting it off. I was like, you know what? Yeah, I don't, I don't need to fall down another rabbit hole with pens. I just don't. And then time kept passing by and I would continue to go to the website and look at this pen and think this is gorgeous. And I went to my very first pen show this last November, and I saw a lot of Brian Gray's work on display at one of the tables, and I just thought, these pens are absolutely beautiful. So I just bit the bullet. I decided this is going to be my first 2023 purchase, and we shall see from there. So this limited edition is part of, I believe, a 50 count line. So he still considers it part of his signature collection, uh, but it's also a little bit pre-manufactured in that they are able to assemble it uh, assembly line style. So you get a bit of a discount in that regard rather than their standard signature pens where you pick all of the different pieces. You still get to pick the kind of nib you want and things like that. But yeah, I am very excited to open this. So Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. And I wanted to point one thing about the actual packaging first. I just was so charmed by this. The little stamp of thanks with the Edison Pen Company logo on it. And then made with pride in Ohio. And I, I just think it's little touches like those that really, I don't know, really resonate with me. So let's go ahead and open this one up. Oh, so you get this long letter, um, Edison Pen Company 2022 limited edition at Glenmont in Silver Lake. And this is number 48 of 50. So that means we're towards the end of the line. Uh, thank you for the purchase of your 2022 limited edition Glenmont. This letter serves as a document of certification for your new pen. This pen was produced in a limited edition run of 50 pieces. The filling system utilizes a cartridge or converter. Please use the included converter or international standard cartridges to fill your pen. We'd like to personally thank you for supporting small independent businesses like ours. Thank you. And Brian and Andrea Gray. And I just think that's awesome. And then there's the invoicing information behind that. And this one also comes with, oh, awesome, a memo pad. I actually heard about this. So let's see, can we see that? So it has that same stamp with the thanks and the logo made with Pride in Ohio. And then a little blurb that says, thanks from the Edison Pen Company. This notepad was made in-house on HP premium 32 pound paper at our facility in Huron, Ohio. Thank you for supporting small independent businesses like ours, Brian, Andrea, Jake, Aaron, and Sean. And then it just the actual note pages have the logo at the top and edisonpen.com at the bottom. And as I had mentioned, this pen is made from a diamond cast blank. So this is the little diamond cast logo and it just talks a little bit. Diamond cast is created with real gem quality diamonds that are ethically sourced as reclaimed chips directly from diamond cutters. All diamonds in diamond cast are guaranteed conflict free, which I think is awesome. Also diamond cast is gorgeous. Okay, other little bits. Oh, it's a little magnet with again the logo. And here's the pen. Very nicely wrapped. And you saw how snug that was set in the box, which is great. Okay, so here she is. It's got a lovely little silver embossed emblem. It's kind of lightly textured. I don't know if it's picking up very well. But here we go. 
Ooh, the sparkle is insane. Okay, so if you can see, it's a nice box and it's got the Edison Penco. I think it's a sticker. Oh, and this is, it looks like a metal bookmark, again with the logo. And it's time. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick up the sparkle in this thing, but this is insane. It is absolutely beautiful. This is also... A little bit larger than the pens that I normally get and I knew that going in but it's still not a big pen um, I've seen like the Collier and the Collier Grand and it, those are huge pens and I know a hundred percent it would be too big for my hand I definitely knew that those would be while well, gorgeous not for me but this one seemed just perfect and I'll get to the dimensions in just a moment but this one Silver Lake has these little swirls of like teal and silver and white and blue, and it just looks magical. I, I don't even know how to explain it exactly. Um, is that in focus? Uh, everything about this pen is just absolutely beautiful. The whole thing just sort of the light hits it and it just it just looks like magic. And then it has the little engraving Edison Penco 2022 LE Glenmont and this is 48 of 50 so I just barely made it and um, I stuck with the silver and I think the nibs are beautiful with the little filigree and the light bulb insignia on there and it does. It fits really, really nicely. So now that I'm holding it without it being posted, even 100% you could write with this not posted. I have a small to medium sized hand, so it's very, very comfortable. There's like, there's a little tiny bit of a step down, but my fingers don't really where I hold. And I do hold, have like a standard tripod grip for the most part. Um, my fingers don't really feel it too much. Uh, so if you have much larger hands, you'd feel a little bit of the threads, I think, but that's about it. You don't really get to the larger step down, or at least I don't think you feel it. And you certainly don't with my sized hand. Um, and posted, let's see how it balances. I actually, I, I, I've said this before, I'm a pen poster. I generally prefer to write with pens posted and this feels really nice. Like the balance feels even more squared up uh, than it does without. And for me, this is much more comfortable, to be honest. And I really like the way that this one feels. Okay, let's talk specific dimensions. So this again is the 2022 limited edition Glenmont. It is in Mackenzie Diamond Cast Silver Lake. And posted it runs 167 millimeters capped it's 146 millimeters and it is 22.2 grams so not a huge pen but certainly not a tiny one i tend to prefer slightly smaller pens but i did want to branch out a little bit and i think this is going to work very very well for my hand now to kind of put this one in perspective the largest pen in my collection is the Banu Euphoria, I know the fact that that's the largest pen in my collection, but it is. Uh, the Banu Euphoria runs 150 millimeters capped, 180.8 millimeters posted, and weighs 26 grams. So definitely larger than the Glenmont, but still not huge. Like if you were to compare the Glenmont to, say, an Edison Collier Grand, that's, that is a very big difference. Now, uh, on the other end of the spectrum, not I didn't want to go with a mini pen, but just a smaller standard pen. We can talk about the Sailor Pro Gear Slim, and that's not going to stay where I want it to. So we'll just go let it let it lie where it wants. So the Pro Gear Slim runs in at about 123.3 millimeters capped, 
and 142.1 millimeters posted. So again, visually you can see significantly smaller, I would say, than the Glenmont, really significantly smaller than the Banu, but still not a mini pen. So these are kind of a good way to sort of visualize maybe where this pen might fall for you, since I know a lot of people are very, very familiar with the Progear Slam and very, very familiar with the Banu Euphoria, but maybe uh, at least I have not seen a ton of videos about the Glenmont, so I kind of wanted to make that comparison available to other people who might have been in the same boat as me and were like, I don't know how big this is and is it going to work? Or So hopefully that information will help just a little bit. And more importantly, again, I just want to stress how absolutely beautiful this pen is. And I've already done the little rotation and I know video never does justice to this, but a hundred percent, this is the prettiest pen that I have in my collection. I mean, I, I, I really do think it's kind of mesmerizing the way that the color and the light plays off of it. It's just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And that is something that, you know, whether it's in this diamond cast or in many, many, many of the other uh, colorways that Edison Pen Company offers, they are just really, really absolutely beautiful pieces in real life. Like, I can't tell you how impressed I was with everything I looked at at the pen show. I just, it, it was very hard not to make multiple purchases at that time in particular. So now that you've kind of seen a little bit about the size, I'm going to go ahead and ink this guy up and let's see how it writes. Okay, I am back and ready for our writing sample. Uh, so I decided to get a 1.1 italic nib in my Glenmont and that's because I'm really working very hard on getting more comfortable with the broader nibs. Um, doing my best to get better so apologies if this writing sample is a little bit wonky right now. I'm still not quite there with my penmanship and the broader nibs but we shall see. So So this is Sailor Manio's Haha. Ha. It is such a pretty ink. And this is the first time I've tried it in something broader than I think medium fine. And I, I think I'm going to be very, very happy. So it looks, or it makes the ink look so amazing. And this is not even a hundred percent dry, but can you see all of that shading? Oh, it's so beautiful. And again, forgive the mediocre penmanship, <laughs> uh, but I, I am so excited to get comfortable with this nib and to write tons and tons of letters to family and friends and pen friends. Uh, I think that I'm going to be incredibly pleased with this. So just to close things out, once again, this is the 2022 limited edition Glenmont in Mackenzie Silver Lake from the fabulous Edison Pen Company. Thank you to everyone for tuning in. If this video was at all helpful or informative, please, please, please consider clicking that like button or maybe even consider subscribing. Uh, and at that, I'm going to go ahead and close out this episode. Thank you so much again for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.